Hello everyone, Dr. Naveen here from UPSC Medico. Recently, we released Focus Guide 3.0 in the social platforms. This is a PDF containing 175 pages and this, con this includes all the previous year questions from Medical Science Optional UPSC Civil Service Examination. So this time, this is the third edition. In comparison to the previous editions, instead of following a subject-wise approach, this time, we released it in integrated way. Now, why an integrated approach to the syllabus? Why not the usual subject-wise fashion? And what is the difference between the previous editions and this edition? And what kind of changes you need to bring in in your strategies as you go further, right? The first and foremost, I had received many messages from third MBBS students are freshly passed out uh, fourth MBBS students or during their internship. Until you stay reach a stage of internship, our preparation is more in the subject wise fashion. Okay, till the internship, more or less we open anatomy, we prepare some topics there, we go to physiology, we do it. And later, once we get into the internship, when you approach a case, a clinical case, therein you apply all these subjects in both vertical and horizontal fashion to integrate it, right? But suddenly when you look at this integrated approach during your third MBBS, you might feel it a bit alienated, right? You might not understand the importance of it. Let me assure you that this is not tough. This There is a little change in preparation strategy that you need to bring in so that in the initial parts of your preparation, if you start integrating the syllabus, there are two advantages for it. One thing, if you start from A to Z, what happens, you might feel the whole process a bit lengthy and boring. Okay, By integrating all these subjects together, it creates some interest. Okay, So now learning is no more lengthy and boring. Okay. So definitely it is interesting now with integration. Second thing is you can finish the subjects fast. For example, if you understand anatomy, you can apply it in the pathology. You can apply the same in the clinical feature and management aspect. If there is in a surgery, the same anatomical parts can be applied into the surgery. So if you learn a topic in all these segments in an integrated way, it is easy to understand. Okay, it is easy to understand. And very importantly, by integrating all these things, it is easily revisable in the end. Okay. And it saves a lot of time. Saves a lot of time. And definitely, if one aspect of answer, if the question is core anatomy question, if you don't know the anatomy of that particular part, but if you have a knowledge on, a little bit knowledge on the clinical anatomy or the applied aspects, or surgical aspects, you can just write it there. So definitely integrated approach will give you a better possibilities of scoring. So it's scoring, it's interesting, it's easy to understand, revisable and saves a lot of time. So if I say that you can do 45 sessions, 45 sessions, 45 solid sessions to complete the syllabus. So this revision guide or integrated approach focus guide contains 45 focus areas 45 focus areas and uh, i hardly one to two percent of the syllabus which is not even important is left out otherwise almost 99 percent of the syllabus is given here so the biggest advantage with this focus guide is definitely it is syllabus centric and also and also it is pysu PYQ fashion okay in a previous year centric fashion in a previous year question centric fashion we are doing over it and it is completely syllabus specific okay so there's nothing out of the syllabus in this so this is the major thing which happened with focus guide 3.0 and uh, yes this is the index with 45 focus areas you have uterus gonads breast endometrium oral cavity liver thyroid stomach intestine and biliary system likewise you almost have 45 different focus areas wherein all the pyqs are segregated let's take uterus as an example so how to approach this focus guide okay even for freshers even for third mbba students are people who have already given 
your mains op with optional as medical science. So for them, it is even easy to comprehend, easy to understand why this whole syllabus is segregated into different focus areas. Now, you look at uterus. In the uterus, in the syllabus part, in the anatomy, gross anatomy part, the core anatomy organ specific part, there was this syllabus mentioned, gross anatomy, blood supply and lymphatic drainage. Similarly, similarly, in the anatomy, embryology part, this is the syllabus which is given, development of uterus including congenital abnormalities. Now, when you understand the uterus anatomy, you will definitely understand the different pathogenesis of the uterus which are given in gynecology syllabus. Okay, gynecology, they gave uterine prolapse, you need to understand what are the supports of the uterus, how a patient presents, what are the grading, how do you manage and all. Similarly, uterine fibroids. Okay, fibroids of the uterus which arise from the myometrium, what is the different uh, types of fibroids, how do you manage. So you are integrating anatomical knowledge with a surgical subject. And uterus also has cervix, okay, part of a uterusic cervix. So when you look at cervix, two important things comes. One, pathogenesis and histopathology of carcinoma of cervix, which is again from pathology. And similarly, management of the CA cervix, including its prevention, that is HPV vaccine, which is asked in which is asked in 2022. Now you see, by doing this, you are covering both anatomy, you are covering the pathology and also the gynecology part, gynecological malignancies. Now there are three subjects which we are covering in this. So what is the major advantage with this? The major advantage with this is, in a single setting, you are learning everything related to one focus area. For any uh, MBBS student or any non-MBBS medical graduate, what I wanted to tell you is, if you are, if you haven't entered your final MBBS or if you don't know the clinical aspects, you can ignore these 4, 5, 6. You can come back at a later stage, maybe in your final year or internship. Now try to finish off these three topics first, anatomy and pathology together. If you are just first MBBS student, try to finish off just anatomy and embryology part and wait for these lectures and try to integrate all of these together. So nothing in the focus area list is out of the syllabus. The same syllabus line which is given in the UPSC guide is included here. Now what I did in this focus guide is, these are the previous year questions starting from 2001 to 2022. What are all the questions which were asked from the gross anatomy and the embryology? In a similar way, these are the questions from pathogenesis and histopathology of CA cervix and also etiology, clinical features, diagnosis and management. So all these aspects were covered here. And similarly, you have uterine prolapse and fibroid, the previous year questions which were segregated together and this completes a full focus area. For example, if you find it difficult to revise uh, in the regular pattern, you open anatomy. If you keep on reading anatomy of uterus, then kidney, then urinary bladder, then prostate, what happens is you might find lose, you lose interest in studying and you might get bored. Suddenly, if you switch from an organ anatomy to a pathology, a physiology and also the clinical features, then the management. So it, it forms a continuum and in the brain, you will have a story which is running, right? The whole story of uterus. So if you prepare in such way, this is what I do. Even when I teach, that is how I integrate and also what I do uh, in regular preparation strategy or while making content also, I refer multiple books because even if you take Harrison, even if it contains the main medicine aspect, it also has some useful anatomical points or useful physiological points which were not there in either Ganon or also the BD Chaurasia. So that way you can better integrate and that's how even our notes is designed. Sometimes people message me, sir, why this is infectious diseases now, why it is in the microbiology. Similarly, if you see management part, suddenly in the medicine part you will find some uh, uh, key points which are taken from the standard surgery textbooks, right? Or different editions of the different versions of the same subject. So that's how we integrate. And this definitely kind of gives you interest in continuing and also it motivates you. It is very important uh, for uh, uh, these competitive exams. Similarly, uh, as I told you, we have different focus areas like gonads. The same thing we have anatomy embryology and also application part these days even if you see anatomy questions they'll also ask you what is the applied aspect 
or they'll suddenly give you a clinical scenario for example rotator cuff tears this was asked in the last year rotator cuff tears usually we don't read in the usual uh, shoulder joint point but when you uh, read this in the clinical part you will understand what is important and what happens when there is a rotator cuff tear and all so if you integrate in such a way even you can answer paper one questions in a more clinical fashion okay the more clinical approach you have for paper one the more marks you get otherwise paper one questions are pretty straightforward previous year questions almost 100 percent is a repeat in 2022 paper right if you add some extra clinical aspects then you can do it that clinical aspect will only come when you integrate while preparing this whole and similarly you have uh, as i told you gonads pyqs are there breast as a topic you have anatomy physiology pathology and also the general surgery and a little bit of PSM or pediatrics baby friendly hospital initiative. You, know, you need to know everything about breastfeeding which is a very important question from UPSC medical science point of view. So everything PYQ centric is segregated in a way. Now by looking at the PYQs you will know which area to focus and those are the areas we did focus while recording videos in combo course or video course and also while preparing tests. Uh, the test series part contains all these areas and in the test series what we'll do we'll kind of uh, try to anticipate a future question will give you some uh, different challenging questions in the same context so that you are ready for the upcoming exam so in likewise we have endometrium with all the pyqs you also have in the endometrium we did include some parts of sexual assault oc pills and iucds because most of the genital examination happens there and these oc pills and iucds they change the thickness of the endometrial lining okay so uh, similarly you have oral cavity with pathogenesis oral tumor and little bit of cleft lip cleft palate and laryngeal tumor which are in continuum and next when it goes to the liver the complete liver these liver heart and kidney are major subjects you see liver comes in anatomy liver comes in biochemistry liver comes in uh, pathology and also general medicine part of cirrhosis of liver liver also comes in surgery portal hypertension and yes viral hepatitis is there liver also comes in pediatrics with kernicterus or neonatal jaundice and surgical conditions of the liver that is liver abscess and entamoeba histolytica amoebic liver abscess right so these are all the important things from the liver and all the uh, pyqs are segregated at a single place so that you will have an idea how to approach liver similarly you have thyroid and likewise you have 45 different focus areas in the focus guide which is most latest now what you have to do choose a focus area try to analyze it what are the pyqs which are asked and go back to the course curriculum for example if you take diabetes and open my course curriculum you will find a lecture of diabetes mostly in the physiology part of diabetes pathophysiology of diabetes and similarly you will also find diabetes uh, in uh, anti-diabetic drugs wherein we did discuss oral hypoglycemics and also uh, the insulin or insulin analogs you'll find it in pathology also what are the changes which happens in uh, the diabetic nephropathy and all right so what are the renal changes so this is how you approach lung you have a focus area called lung you have blood and vascular disease you have menstruation as a focus area bones and joints see bones they haven't asked much but there is a, in the recent 2021 there's a question on colis fracture and joints are the usual routine shoulder joint uh, hip joint and knee joint and radiology part imaging all clubbed together tools in biochemistry very important part from biochemistry you have a nutrition focus area wherein we try to focus on protein energy uh, malnutrition part of pediatrics nutritional diseases part of psm vitamins and mineral parts of biochemistry and also anemia which is very closely related to iron deficiency so we did put it under nutrition so that you'll complete it you'll understand it in detail so this is how all the focus areas are segregated so what i want to tell you is with this 175 uh, pages document i try to segregate all the important parts of the syllabus in an integrated approach so that you find it easy to revise and also interesting for you okay and you can choose any topic you take organophosphorus poisoning and go to course curriculum in our video course you will find it there the op poisoning discussion just watch that video then look at the uh, pyqs which are given there so this will definitely help you uh, to uh, speed up your preparation and also save a lot of time as i told you if you are preparing for medical science optional if you have 100 percent of the time i think you shouldn't be spending more than 30 percent of the time for medical science optional and you should always find ways to prepare this medical science optional in a quickest but more high yield way right quickest and high yield way that's what you have to do so you have nervous system in the end 
nervous system in the end so i'll conclude here i'll add a link in the description of this video so that you can download this focus guide and start working on it it is advisable but before this if you have started using subject wise pdf okay let me be let me give you a disclaimer if you are using subject wise pdf and if you are comfortable with that approach please go ahead if you are using subject wise pdf but if you are not finding interest or fun in going forward or if you are finding it boring or if you are finding it time consuming try to follow this newer way that is integrated approach which will definitely give you an edge okay so this is what i want to if you are already using subject wise don't get confused because at the end of the day all the topics are same and all the questions are same the approach is different and i think this way we can score more we can finish off the uh, revision part or learning part more quickly okay this is what i feel and also uh, these are the courses which we offer as i told you you have video course plus test series and latest paper pdf and also videos are included into the combo course part and more videos are coming up from 2022 paper and this time what i did is i have segregated 2021 2022 into subject wise fashion and all the major topics were clubbed together with the help of pyqs and i am doing a detailed discussion on these topics because the last two year topics are the major focus areas wherein the examiner might frame a different question but from the same topic you might feel that it is not a pyq but in the vicinity of the same topic he will ask another topic right so we'll try to double guess that and we'll proceed further and similarly uh, combo course is the recommended one but if you want to only go for the video course you have 3 6 12 months plan the content is same the notes is same the only difference is the duration similarly you only have a test series with eight subject wise four live grant test uh, actually the validity of the test series is one year and also you will have uh, subject wise paper discussion in it and also the topic copies